Thanks, Miliana. Um, well done for chairing today, and thanks to all the speakers, particularly for the, the depth and range of content. I think we've got enormous experience that's been brought to bear today and, and yesterday too. Unfortunately, I couldn't join you yesterday. Um, I think there's some comments about the, the, these events. What we're able to bring to share without actually going anywhere in this pande pandemic context is a huge amount of uh, career learning. And so these are not just short bulletins. This is a vast amount of depth that we're sharing amongst each other. And hopefully it's beneficial to all the participants and indeed your colleagues. We're going to continue that with um, Wolf Dasiking, who many of you will know Wolf is a friend of the academy, he's an honorary academician, and he was a, a key instrument in driving the Freiburg Charter that we worked with uh, him on in Freiburg back in uh, 2010. As you know, most of you, I think, uh, Wolf was head of city planning in Freiburg for almost 30 years from the 80s through to the uh, 2012. But before that, interestingly, he was also um, a chief planner at Mulheim in the Ruhr. So he's been used to working in regional contexts that are very challenged. Um, he has since his retirement as the city planning officer. He's been professor at the University of Freiburg, interestingly in sociology, not in, in, in the planning sector. And he has also, many of you will know, been assistant professor at the UCL at Bartlett in London. And one thing I, I also want to add before Wolf starts is that he's been a member of the Lee Kuan Yew um, World City um, Prize judging panel. So it's assessing world cities for the last few years around the world. So he's, he's very much on top of what's happening in a global sense in, with climate change and so on, as well as the immediate context of Freiburg. So Wolf, welcome. We're looking forward to hearing from you again. Um, and you've got an audience, I think, largely from Scotland, England, Ireland, but also some other international colleagues. Um, welcome to the AOU again. Um, first of all, can you hear me? Yes, we can. And can you see my first slide? Yes, we can. Okay, so then I start. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Um, well, to say the truth, I um, had a favor just to come over, but this uh, pandemic is... Uh, for me, it's terrible because I I hate in reality video conferences because I need the personal contact. I need you as persons. I need your your faces, your um, your vision. I need your the discussion. I need I need you. Huh? And just uh, to stay at home, uh, it's also for my students not very very funny. So let us all hope that this um, terrible time will be over soon the spook will go away and uh, then we will have the chance to come uh, although it is not so easy as before to come to uk but to ireland and uh, perhaps also to scotland it will be perhaps a little bit easier stop we don't talk about politics we talk now about the sector what has a city what can a city do and what uh, are the visions or not the visions what do we have to do um, uh, after this um, pandemic uh, has gone, and it will go, it will take some time, of course. Uh, and the other se sector is, what are we all doing? Which visions, which master plans do we have for global or against global warming? And this is, from my opinion, the most important thing we have to face. Let us start with this, um, uh, this um, air view. Uh, Freiburg in the background, the Black Forest in front, the uh, city, the downtown area. Can you see the pointer? Yes. Can you see it or not? Can you see a pointer on this on the on the picture? Yes. So in the in front here is the new development of Rieselfeld, which Peter Hall said, well, this should be the way all cities should build it. But I don't want to speak today of, um, about the Rieselfeld. I have uh, taken two, uh, two um, uh, no, three examples uh, in which way we went on for planning in a very, very early time, which was the way, which uh, were the ingredients we integrated in our, in our ideas. And the first I want to show you is uh, owned, was owned by a, an Australian company. It was very funny to talk to these uh, guys when they came over and had their ideas of planning, of Australian planning. 
and we had our ideas of German planning. And then the second example is owned in an area which was owned by the, by the city. The land was owned by the city. It's a mixed uh, um, area with uh, shopping and uh, living and leisure ground. And the third one is an example, the Vauban area, which uh, is, uh, was owned by the um, uh, Federal Republic of Germany, which the city bought from the Federal Republic and then transferred our ideas into reality. And at least uh, because, uh, not because, but uh, uh, Kevin, you uh, pronounce it, uh, as I'm working in, in Singapore and in Asia, not unfortunately not now, all, only everything is going by video conference. Uh, I have uh, some slides about Singapore, what takes place there. And I'm very sure you will be very astonished about it. So let's start. Let's start. First of all, just a little bit backwards. The statistics are for planners very important. And you see this big going down. It's like a, uh, it's, it's a, cur a curve after World War II. And then the city goes up and up and up with this population. And to go back here in, the, in, the, in this area, uh, when I arrived in Freiburg, it was 1984. The city had, uh, had uh, 183,000 uh, inhabitants. Every year, around uh, 1,000 people came plus to the city. So in this moment, uh, the city has around the city has around uh, 226, 27, 28,000. Don't, I'm not uh, uh, very keen in the stati statistics now, but it's the it's the total amount is around 100, uh, 225, 228,000. Among those are a lot of students, and just to have a little um, uh, look back. We have to face what happens after World War II. First of all, this was the first period. It took place uh, till the beginning of the 60s was the reconstruction of the inner city and to find ways to just to bring living areas to the people after World War, uh, World War II. The second period started, started and it, it, it's the land use plan started in 1956, but it was, the area which started then after, uh, after uh, uh, not after, uh, in the beginning of the 60s, beginning of the 60s, which said we have to make living spaces, we have to, to produce uh, working areas or areas where people could work or find their um, occupation. The third period was the period which was more and more and more and more. Uh, it was uh, um, growing, 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 it is said here. I will show you just, just some slides. And then it started in the beginning, at the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s, the first period which came was, uh, of course, uh, the point 80, uh, uh, 73 was the oil crash. And in the 80s, it started, well, to bring to bring the idea of sustainability inside the house. And now the, uh, the fifth uh, pillar will be what can we do afterwards? So first of all, we can just click it through. It was the damage of World War, World War II, totally damaged, totally damaged. And those planners at that site were very, very keen. They made a master plan. And their master plan was in this way that they kept the plots. They kept the plots, the, the old plots, oh, sorry. The old plots, which said plot by plot another architect, plot by plot another owner. So at that time, it was very important to have this. And first of all, at this time, Freiburg was beloved. Beloved, everyone laughed about Freiburg because the other city said, well, now the war has taken everything away. We can just manage to build very creative new cities. No, Freiburg did another way. But at that time, those people, when everything was smashed, look at these photo again, when everything was fast, there were planners who just had, had the idea, who just, well, what's going on here? Who just had the idea to make road profiles. What happens in the future with our traffic? What happens, for example, with our pedestrian? This plan was from 1949, uh, during a time when everything was, was uh, smashed. So first point for me to give the advice to everyone, 
you have to have visions. You have to have visions to bring them through. It takes a long, long time. But without having creative planners, nothing really will work. And you will see when you are saying things in a time when no one really needs that, you don't, you are not very much beloved. You have to think behind the mountains and not stand before, before the mountains. And then another point is very urgent to say, it's necessary to say to everyone, um, well, the, the most important point is we all have very different characters. We all have very uh, different political areas around us. It's all known. It's all known. You cannot, cannot say, well, because it is so, I cannot do anything. You can do a lot of things. You must be in the right moment, on the right place with some persons who just join you, who have influence, and then everything can go on work, but it is not working only if you are working during daytime. You have to do it all week long. So after World War II, the reconstruction of the inner city took place. And you can see in these architecturing, they integrated also big shopping areas, but they created it in a way that the facades looked like, looked like it as it was, uh, it was smaller inside. For example, this is also shopping hall, and that is, was not only one unit for shopping. They put in front of that these small houses. And now it's very important. I make a big job to the, to the pandemic which takes place. We had a hard lockdown. The, uh, the merchandising is, uh, went totally down. Just to make now the vision. They, a lot of people are going, for my opinion, are going to be bankrupt afterwards. But it's much easier to fill such a unit again than a big unit like that one. So those cities who had not these big elephants inside, who had kept their plots, plots are able to transfer these again when it started to work, and it will work after the pandemic, to fill this city again. So let us just, just like make a, a short jump. In a city, vision of the city, no touches of the mountain and the quality inside. And also one point was very, very important. It is to bring the open public transportation system as a backbone, as a backbone into the city. That means at that time when all the people said only by car and took their, their lines of trams or their buses outside, this city had the vision, we keep it. We keep this infrastructure because it is needed. After a lot of years at that time, also the planners were beloved and now, well, it's, it's, uh, now it's our, our treasure we have. Huh? And there's a strict walking only where the tram line is, only where the open public transportation is, only on these lines, the development of the city takes place. And it has changed since the 80s, nothing to the outside, only to the inner development. And you have seen before in the statistics, 1000 inhabitants every year, every year and only in inner development. I will show how we do, did we make it. This is for example, this is me on the market. Uh, sometimes I do that, but uh, um, <laughs> without big success. Huh? So the downtown area is the next point I would want to show you. You have to, you have to decide. The quality of the city is only possible in areas where you took the private car circulation out. There was a long, 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 long discussion with all these shop owners. They said, well, when the people cannot come with their cars, we are, we are ruined. The difference is uh, now the difference is, has taken part. The quality, Freiburg is one of those cities who has who is the city with, um, where, where we can say, well, when you go from, from when you ask the people uh, about Freiburg, uh, they say, well, this is the place I really love to, to be because we are warm, we are influenced from the, from the Mediterranean over the Rhone River, these uh, mountains are from north to south. So the warmer period can come, the warmer weather can come. We, have, um, we are no 
uh, industrial city, we have uh, intelligent persons, we have a quali high ranked qualified university, so around 35,000 students are inside. So the life is, is amazing. And when I just can, can add one point, uh, of course, uh, you know also the honorable um, uh, member of the academy uh, from Copenhagen. Uh, he just uh, said, well, in his um, uh, in his um, um, work he has done over over decades, you have to decide: either you bring quality inside, young girl, quality inside, and then you you throw the cars out, you allow bicycles you allow pedestrians, you integrate the open public transportation system, then you get can get this quality of life everyone wants to have, or you let the cars in. So Jan Giel is also a very big fighter for future things. And uh, um, he is also a member of the academy and I adore him very much. And he's, um, I saw him last time in Singapore. Uh, he has become very old now, unfortunately, but he's done excellent work. Now, the, the beginning of the 70s, we all made these big elephants, these big uh, new developments. Uh, end of 60s, beginning 70s, it started. Uh, at that time, at that time, in Freiburg, they made the, the decision not to build just for poorer people one satellite. No, they said, we have to build private areas, one third. Rented areas, rented areas, and rented areas, which are on a normal level, one third, the second third, and one third is the is the um, is the um, uh, for for social housing. So the mixture is the important, and not the separation. You have to go inside, and this stone, this uh, idea, this uh, this. Uh, um, this um, uh, yes, this idea has been taken in all our developments, not separating, separating, integrating the people, bring them together. And so you can see, well, in this way, these uh, elements all grew up. The architecture from the time of the beginning 70s, mid of 70s, is not the best one. And we have now, or the city has now, not the problem, but the thing to face, in which way can you transfer those buildings which were built in in the time where the oil was the oil was very cheap one barrel cost uh, uh, at that time three dollar fifty uh, then jumped up to 24 dollars but now it's uh, it's around 60 70 dollars how can we transfer these buildings to reduce the energy consumption and of course i could just tell about those things how to finance it the most important point as I heard in the last lecture in the discussion, how do I, we finance it? And therefore, we found also a way to make it. So these, these um, uh, suburbs, which were outside, were all built up by a competition, first of all competition. And it was also necessary to bring a tram line just in front, which tram line will, which runs to this point, up, so leisure ground, normal living, private housing, uh, normal living and some social, uh, not some one third of social living inside. So the difference of the difference of um, of um, integration, the, the the necessity of dif uh, of integration is the most important point. So uh, how did we finance, or how did the person finance that? Uh, not easy, but it could be financed because one third was private. The ground belonged to the city. One third was private. One third was for a rented area, which was like, like uh, the, uh, in a wage. Yeah? But this one third of social housing could be paid from these amount of money you got from the persons who built their private, their private houses over there. So in, in financial, integrate financial um, has to take place uh, on every step you are, do, you are doing. And I will show you in my examples how we made it. But now it's this, this map is very important. You have, of course, the zoning plans and you have on the other hand, the, the land use plan. The land use plan is in a dimension which means measuring one to 50,000, 30,000, 25,000. 
and it's a it's a it's a map which you have to bring life in those maps so when you can see next slide is the no i i don't think i have it the the um it will come yeah so the most important point was for us just to see that the city has not only the inner area we also had to find out where a lot of quality was outside these areas old villages which were integrated or which were built uh, areas which were built up in the 20s those were built up in the 60s and we said we have to stabilize all those small areas where the people who live close by could very quick come to this point and i created i created in the uh, in the mid of the 50s we all should build up the city of the short ways means city of the short ways means every uh, private or um, uh, open public infrastructure should be reached inside a walking distance and when you leave see, see such a plan which is totally different from the land use then you only have to combine these areas to the leisure grounds. These are the leisure grounds in Black Forest here. So you only have to, to make bring ways through it, bicycle lanes, foot passes, so that everyone could come from his very, uh, very point in a very few distance up to the leisure areas where you can do everything, but not working, but uh, find all the quality you need in a city. This was one point. And the next point was, to keep just inside these areas the tram lines which had to run in these areas here in the middle of it and when you can see when when you would like when you have the chance to come and see freiburg this always i show it to students is for me this area is a symbol of of um, very excellent over years decades um, um uh, done excellent planning because here in this area you have the tram line in the middle you have these neighborhood centers these neighborhood centers and then around 150 meters from here you are in the black forest you are here on the mountains you can do everything in an area you don't need to go downtown so the the um, the tram line as i told is the backbone and everywhere where the tram line runs We've tried to bring density. When I show these pictures in Singapore and I talk about density, they are laughing, because uh, this is not. Uh, oh no, so, sorry, this is not the way of density in Singapore. But what I want to like to tell you also different. Here we have a paved ground. Here you have a green ground. We have in Germany the law. When we take those instruments in new built areas, we have to reduce the noise as far as possible. So if you bring grass inside, you can reduce the noise the, of the running instruments, of the running wheels by around 30%. So therefore we try to bring it inside these areas in green where it is possible, where it is possible and in a quality necessary. In this area, we didn't do that because this was new, the other one was old, but excellent and necessary is that you can step over and also with the Kinderwagen, with the, with the Kinderwagen, you can roll over or elder people can go on. Here, this is the point, now we build it new. We had to build this fence. And I was, I was very annoyed that this fence was necessary because then you can only try to pass uh, at these stops or at these pool foot passes and not on the, whole, on the whole area. So a lot of things have to be done. And then of course, we created by bicycle lanes you can, uh, I think we have 320 kilometers of bicycle lanes inside the city, all combined and close connected to the regional area. And there's a very necessary, which is very necessary, a very close contact to the political persons who are outside. They have meetings every two months just to discuss their problems and to find a way in which way they can make it to come together in the different points. In, in living areas, in recreation areas, in bicycle lanes, in foot passes, in uh, water, um, uh, quality of, of uh, the, 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 the drinking water areas, which do not stop at the border of a city, which go outside, of course, open public transportation system, 
which has only which has only also to be financed. This is always a long discussion how much money must come from the outside to the inside to finance it. And you must know, uh, different than you have it in your country, our open public transportation system is not privatized. It belongs to 51% uh, to, uh, to the city of Freiburg and also to private investors, but the city has a majority and the city can say, I want to have it in this way. And uh, this is the most important point, just as infrastructure that no one can tell you, I don't do that because it's too cheap, it's too expensive, it's I don't want it and so on. So the, the point now is, when we are going on bicycle lanes, you have also the quality inside. We have areas <clears throat> where it said, when these bicycles are going, the, the cars have to reduce their speed extremely. And you can also, where you find these element of, uh, of uh, uh, advertising means here the pedestrians and the, the bicyclists and also the children who are playing have the right to be stronger than the car. The car has to stop or have to go slow totally down and it works. It didn't work, it, it came over years. You must not educate the people, but you must, you must find out that it's better for them to take care about those. The, 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 the car cannot be the strongest one. Also the uh, pedestrian persons cannot be the strongest one. They have to agree to accept each others and that's the way to do it. So what about it? You can see in our, in our, uh, in our statistic here, the model split means uh, Freiburg has here pedestrians, has bike, bicyclists and has a lot of uh, open public transportation system, which grew all the, si all the time. So it means you have a lot of, uh, of uh, foot passes, you have a lot of uh, bicycle lanes, and you have a lot of, of, um, uh, of uh, open public transportation system. And of course, <clears throat> you must know, this amount here, this amount here is depending on the fact that we had a, had a development, development over decades, which said the outside areas, the, the neighborhoods, had to be stabilized that no one runs only to the middle of the city, to the heart of the city. To stay outside is the most important point for us to live in the area where you work or where you stay. A very important spot and it says in which way is working the area together. Here's Freiburg and you can say footpaths, bicycles, um, this means um, uh, individual planners and those who are going with them, uh, one, uh, one conductor and these are persons who are driving with them. And this is the amount of uh, open public transportation. And if you look at Freiburg, the worst thing is also in the area of uh, global warming, also perhaps on, 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 uh, on pandemic, uh, to bring this amount of private drivings to reduce it. And you can see when you compare it to other cities, we are on a very, 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 very good way. Very good way. And this is very important in which way can every planning, everything we are doing can contribute that this amount is uh, going to be reduced and this amount is going to go up, especially this one. And we see the open public transportation system from all is 17%. And you can see 17%, it's here in Stuttgart, it's higher because Stuttgart is lying on the, on the mountains, very high mountains. But this point is also important. They have 31% and it has reduced during the last years extremely because there were new politicians inside who said, we don't want this area where normally um, um, Daimler-Benz is produced, where Porsche is reduced and so on. No, they are going to bring this amount of, uh, of private car circulation much more down. And in which way you can do it, I will tell you. So this is the land use plan. The land use plan for me is uh, only to know where the developing is going to, but this plan has no life. And now I want to point out, we are going now to this area. Land use plan is, um, for example, has a measuring of one 
uh, one to 25,000 or one to 30,000. 30, um, you cannot you cannot really plan an area like this only by having such a land use plan. So that is why <clears throat> we told just make a smaller, just go back there now. For example, this area, you look at here, this area, only as an example. We said now we are going in a higher, well, when you, when you fly with a, a satellite, you see, the, you see the area where we are in a totally different way than if you go by a, by a, a small, small aeroplane, you come down, more down. So we introduced inside those district planning, which just tells us where has to, where, where, where uh, have we to integrate when we are going to plan in any area something, when we are going to make a zoning plan, what have we to integrate because we are looking in a wider view what happens in this district. So in this way, <clears throat> so in this way, uh, also specialist advices are taken. For example, in our area, the wind system plays an extremely role. So we made specialist advices, which were then afterwards were taken inside the inside the uh, the uh, zoning plans. So, for example, the stream of cold uh, cold uh, wind is very important for us. So, if you cannot build higher houses than a certain sort of meters, uh, because then the wind get a get a stop like a bridge or something like that. So this is very important, important. And we had to discuss this very hard because this is also energy saving. If, the, if you interrupt this, this wind system, for example, here by buildings, then the stream will not come down here, which you feel. And then the fog in autumn can come from the Rhine River up to the city. And when the fog enters the city, for example, you have to heat more. You have to make more light on the streets. You have also uh, the, the colder, the colder you have to warm up everything. So it, it's necessary to integrate all those specialists is wise into a planning. And now well, we have, well, yeah. Wolf, well, we've got about five minutes. Do you need a bit more time? If it's possible, yes. Is this okay? Kevin, okay. now we are going very, very, very quick. For example, this area belonged to Australian people. Australian people had an idea. We said, no, it will not work like you do it in Australia. We just told them in which way you had to go. They had to make a, they had to make a, a competition. They had to integrate inside the competition a, a, for a, a program. And inside the program, we made it like that and integrate inside social housing, social housing, uh, offices and private living. And this all came to the point, came to the point that we are, there we are, there we are. No, does this go in? No. Mm. Sorry, here we are, sorry. Integrating inside our systems on energy reduction. The system is a contribution that the CO2 emissions are going down. This was the normal way to plan it. And this is now the way to plan it to reduce all the CO2 emission contribution to less energy. The land use plan is, was uh, the first, the, the zoning plan the second. And this is now the, the zoning plan for this area, which says in which way they have to go. And the area looks like that. High houses with uh, a very high quality, very expensive, and this is a very reduced living space. The next point is the next point is an area which is up over here, which belong to the city. Means we said how much statistics, how much we need. We said mixture. First of all, the area of of merchandising and the area of living, and mixture means. And of course, the, the concept of uh, energy reduction. No cars inside, only the open public transportation system. A big shopping mall, shopping mall, but integrated smaller shops inside, 15,000 square meters. Areas for stormwater, integrated. Living grounds for, for people who just can just uh, am amazement inside the city. 
This house is a house which has a low, low energy and is a social housing for very cheap price, a very cheap price. You have to bring a specialist inside. And these are houses which are higher priced. So with this calculation, we could finance the rest. And you can see it very quickly. Ground, transportation line on that side, the shopping area, the private houses, which bring a lot of money inside. With this money, we invest it for the normal houses. So it's always a mixture of everything. And the quality is very, very high. And perhaps you all have the chance to see it. It's very close by is everything you need, also the leisure grounds for people. And what we need, and we wrote it down in the Charter of Freiburg, social question, economy, ecology. I don't want to talk about that, but you have to face the region, the region on every area, the region must be integrated in all your ideas you have, and you have to convince the, the, the uh, region. This was our masterpiece. It's Vauban area. I just click it through. A competition 2072 uh, in uh, partic uh, partic participants. Um, we had a long discussion about one week. This was the the uh, plan. We was first prize. Tramline in the middle, areas without any car circulation, schools, uh, open public area. Uh, just click it through, and it was the the, the hierarchy of roads. Uh, we made an isometry. After this isometry, we had an idea, and then we made a town planning calculation. And this is very important. Town planning calculation means the, the land was owned by the, uh, uh, the federal public. The city bought it. And then we made, after we a longer discussion about the, about the program, we made the, the competition. After the competition, we made these, um, this isometry. And after this isometry, we made the town planning calculation means we calculated all the costs, all the costs which were coming up for the streets, for the pavement, for the banks, for the green, for the school, for the lamps and so on. And we calculated it. And by selling the plots, we put all these amount on every square meter so that the people who live there had to pay for their areas and had to pay all the infrastructure. And perhaps this is an advice I can give you. We cannot complain uh, ourselves. We must find intelligent ideas in which way how we are able to finance our projects. This uh, sign of uh, people, where this sign is, the children have to stop. The pedestrian areas is, uh, uh, and bicycle lanes have the majority different sort of houses, uh, working and living together, uh, totally different house. You cannot see which one is social housing and which one is a private house or flat, a kindergarten. For example, here, the virus broke out uh, six weeks ago. It was a big disaster in Freiburg. Um, we could talk about that long time. Also, uh, shoppings everywhere around and building houses which produce more energy than needed. And also the energy company is a very essential element to have it inside the city so that you can make politics. Means these houses produce more energy and we, they can sell it now to the factory and they get money back. And it's the price for that was uh, nine to 11 point or 12 percent more. And after six years you had the ribbon and then the, the money came into the back into your pocket. So it means you have to find ways, you have to find ways in, uh, you have to find ways in which way you can transfer your dreams, not dreams, your visions into reality. And this is the area now, and the area is fantastic. Yeah? A lot of people are visiting. And, and me, I'm, I'm very keen in having young people around me because those are the people who have to live there. And when you ask them, in which way do you want to live? The, the, the answers are totally different of all these ideas the normal construction companies are having and we are having in our, in our areas. And I'm very keen in saying these people will have the, the power to bring it on another point. I need still two minutes, Kevin. Two minutes. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, two minutes then. Two okay. Minutes. I told you just Singapore. Uh, 
I'm working also there. Kevin told it. This is Woha, uh, Mansam. Mansam is, belongs to one of the most popular offices in Asia, perhaps also worldwide. Uh, he's a fantastic, a really fantastic pillar, a fellow. His house, uh, his houses are like that. Huh? So you have in the ground, you have um, merchandising and offices here. Then you have a hotel, and on the top are some living areas and also and also uh, restaurants. It's fantastic to do it. Who makes it here? And the next point is these are these houses, also mixed houses. On the top are, are flats, living areas. Down under here, this is hotel, and on the ground are offices. Huh? Has won a lot of prizes, this one. We have to stop the global warming. I will come to the end. And we can do it, but we have to be very, very strong. First of all is, if you want to stop the global warming, you must reduce the energy consumption. And the energy consumption in a city, well, I think around 190 countries have signed the, the Paris contract. Fortunately, US is back now, now in this group. We have to we have to find ways in which, in which way we can, we can just uh, make our cities, bring it to areas where you have already open public transportation system, but nevertheless, you have to find out in which way you can reduce your private car driving model. And of course, you will have to do that because the global warning, you can make political decision uh, as you want, but you will never win the race. And just one more slide, or one, more, one, one more clip. I have this clip for you. This is brand new. My friend Man Sam from Wuha Architect just sent it to me. And I want to tell you in which way those people are going over to make it. And I hope it will work. Let me see. Will it work? Yes, it will work. It takes, it takes two minutes. One minute. One minute, Kevin. One minute. Inside the city. They have a dense city. They have density, and now they have to transfer those areas into a, into a newer way, into a way which follows the signs against global. Well, uh, perhaps at the end, thank you very much for listening. <clears throat> I'm sorry that we cannot uh, come together in a discussion uh, personally. Uh, just to say to the end, 
uh, Singapore has um, made a decision uh, around the 10th of February to 2030 to make green on all their houses. And when they decided, uh, they bring will bring it into reality. They have a totally different sort of uh, political leadership, of course. And those people over there, when the government says we are going this way, they are following. Totally different of our mentality. If you say in Germany, I want this house in a green color, uh, the persons around you say, no, not green. I want it uh, yellow or I want it with uh, red spots on it. Thank you very much for listening. Hope I could bring some ideas inside and planning is for me. Uh, when, when, you, when you will say what is planning means to bring coincidence into a strategy. This was all the time the idea I followed and hope I could uh, give some new, uh, some new pushes inside your work. Hope we can see us either in UK, either in Ireland or Scotland, um, or if you want, build up a group, come to Freiburg as soon, as soon as this um, these spook is over with the virus, I will uh, like to see you all. I like to see you all. Huh? Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Wolf. Thanks very much. Um, and to everyone, that, that was a, in a potted summary, a, a, a very rapid run through a, a long series of events from strategies and projects in Freiburg. And, and I think some of that recent thinking in um, Singapore with inputs from students in, in the same way that um, some of the work we've been doing in, in Perth and Dundee that David referred to is being um, really adopting the Academy's urban lab model, being fed into the discourse and the policy making, you therefore see it in, in uh, Singapore being adopted. It's not just part of the discussion, it's, it's part of policy. Um, Wolf, just to, we, we've got time for a few questions, I, I, and I'm going to start with one. You talked towards the end about young people, links to what you showed. Um, I want to link that back to, um, because I think this will be relevant to many of the people on this uh, call today. How do you build the vision with other players, particularly business community, um, let's say the people we might be dealing with post-COVID who are fearful of change and so on. Um, you talked about dealing with developers, businesses, traders, and so on. Uh, I think particularly you mentioned it in terms of removing traffic, but how do you work with those people and, and get them part of the story and, and sharing in the vision? Well, this is the keystone you have to, this is the keystone you have to, to find a way to convince the people. And convincing is a very, very hard point. It doesn't happen during your working hours. So as a planner, you are always on the run. And I remember when you were uh, visited Freiburg several times and we went through the, the area and also to the outside, uh, you could see a lot of people, although I'm now out of the job since 2012 of my professional job in the city hall, uh, were a lot of people who recognized me and saw me. And uh, do you remember this uh, situation we had in the wineries when the person came and brought a bottle of wine in the wineries? And you told me, told to me, well, this would never happen in Scotland when you go around in the mountains. No one would come with a, with the, with the whiskey or something like that. No, it's our job is convincing. And uh, it is not only convincing. You must have, um, you must pe have people around you. Not, not, not many people, but you have to have uh, those people who have influence in the city. You cannot run in our system, you cannot run against the, the mayor. The mayor is very important in, in Germany. It's uh, not the British system, it's, uh, it's our system where the mayor is uh, the boss of the authorities. Um, so he must, you, you must build up a team. And then of course, must be the following persons in the boat. One of the, um, of the Chamber of Commerce, one of the university, member of the uh, boss of the university, uh, of course, uh, the culture, and of course, one person who had uh, influence on the, on the social, social area. So, uh, and if you are very keen, you integrate someone of the region, but this is very, it's very difficult because 
you cannot choose one and the other says why is he chosen and I uh, with the region it's a it's a separate model but inside you must build up a pressure group and this pressure group must convince and this is talking for example the the mayor I worked with uh, invited every second Sunday from nine to one o'clock to one o'clock these five persons and we discussed the next and the over next week so where have we to go we discussed first of all uh, of all we discussed if those things we are we wanted to go if they are okay or if we have to to make a little bit different or have we to to change our 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 way to come to the to the to the point we wanted to have so it it's at the, i will say it in this way as planner you have no time to sleep okay so there is an issue there about and it's relevant to many of the people on this who are from smaller towns and working in smaller communities is we picked up the the face to face element and the networks but that it, that's not just knowing each other socially that's coming together and and delivering on the vision you you emphasized a lot as others have i think duncan before you in particular the importance of delivery i want to pick up another point about delivery and you talked about this in terms of delivery post covid recovery you referenced small plots and the more organic nature of the freiburg plan rather than the big monocultural retail and so on um, but Shane Clark from Cork and, and others, because I was writing this down too, thinking a lot of the time the investors want larger plots and larger scale. And again, some of that was also referenced by Duncan in terms of ownership and control. How do you grapple with th that balance between what investors want and what might be a more appropriate scale for the town? Hmm. Well, this is, a, is another very important point, uh, Kevin. And it, for me, I always told it, and this was also a long discussion with Peter Hall, who unfortunately passed in uh, 2015. But it was uh, in this way that we, as I told, in the sector of uh, this Aus Australian company who, who came to this uh, area and said, well, we want to have this, and in Australia it runs this way. And I also know that a lot of uh, uh, investors are... Uh, on the way in, in UK, also in Ireland and also in, in Scotland. But the main point is what our mayor always point out, we are the persons who have the golden finger because our authorities are doing the, the, um, uh, the zoning plans. And the zoning plans, it's the point that before you do these zoning plans, you make a program. How many units? What about the traffic? What about the energy? What about the, the mixture integrated? And how big are these plots in these areas? An investor always comes and said, well, I invest, this is beton gold, this is uh, beton, uh, is beton in English too? It's concrete, huh? concrete is beton. Concrete gold. So they invest and want to have a lot of money. They, they can earn money, of course, and they must also earn money. But the most important point is that you have to build up a strategy that not the investors are telling you what they want to do and want to transfer. No, the authorities or you as planner have to say, when we do it this way, it is better for you, it is better for us, and it's better for, who, for, for all of us because we're sending out now a signal in which way, in which way an area can be stabilized not only to come and to, to make money and then run away, and the problem is inside the city. No, what is the mixture? How many plots you want? Which sort of plots you want? How is the energy con uh, reduction? And so on and so on. It's a, it's a bouquet of flowers like you, you have in your hand, and you must, you must be very strong. But for that, for that you must have the, uh, the, the, um, the political leader must be behind you and says he is right and we are doing this in this way and now to the pandemic wolf wolf yes. and i just there's one i need to add into this that because you make a really important point of of in a sense leadership planning and political leadership but andreas has pointed out uh, that many of the investors won't build houses unless there are parking spaces there how do you deal with that kind of pressure 
in terms of shifting the culture and the behavior and use of space. And, and again, uh, Kevin, this is a very, this, these are the, the key points. These are the key points. When I came to Freiburg, normally you had per unit two cars, 1.8 cars per unit. And then you remember it always, people always are, uh, are, are doing something when something happened. So we had the oil crisis in, in Germany. And we had at the beginning of the 80s, we had the idea in which way can we reduce our energy consumption. At that time, there was, of course, no discussion. There was no Rio, Rio conference or conference of, uh, of Copenhagen. Rio conference was 1992, which said at that time, 20% reduction till uh, 20 years till 2012. So, then there was the uh, Copenhagen uh, conference and everyone with it, it was called not Copenhagen, it was called Copenhagen Co conference because nothing happened. So Freiburg did it at this way. They took this point and they reduced it by 19%. So the, the, the measures have to take place in the cities. A country can sign a contract. And now to your question. When you want to reduce the energy, and no city can, can deny it, you, every city should have a master plan in which way it follows, can follow this, the, the, the contract uh, the countries have taken, have, uh, have written, um, have, uh, described, uh, have given their sign on um, um, in, uh, 19, uh, in 2015 and the Paris conference. Every city should have a master plan in which way they are going to reduce the consumption. Means, when you want to reduce the car circulation, when it was 1.8 per unit, we reduced it from one second to the next one, only one parking place per unit. From one second to the next one. The mayor said, we are going to reduce it. I don't want to have it. But on the other hand side, you have also to to have an open transportation system and of course bicycle lanes who can take those ideas. Huh? Anybody's ringing something? Phone is both also something ringing. I just put it down. So something was ringing. So the next, the, the next question for a video conference. So now, now we have 0 0.8, 0 0.8 uh, 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 car parking units. You have to make the decision. First of all, you have only to develop areas where running public, open public transportation is very close by. This system has to go, this, this system has, has to go, um, as I always told, uh, often has to be clean, has to be cheap, and has to be safe. So, okay. but the most, but no, okay, the most important point is, only the development in those areas where the open public transportation system is existing. When you are going to build an in area where nothing is, you need these car, car circulating. And then we have another point. We have another point. As I could see in, in UK, you also in US, the cars are outside, not in a garage. They are outside, anywhere in the green. And you showed me when we were in Glasgow, an area which was at that time uh, built the houses were excellent but inside the areas where normally it should be no noise inside where the playing grounds should take place be, without being touched by any cars we are all only installing they down under these are the costs the developers then don't want it when we built up the Rieselfeld when we built up the Rieselfeld it was in 1986 we started 1986 19, 1985 86 we started. No one wanted to invest there. And then the mayor said, well, I have a company who will come. And this company came and we had a block and they wanted to build up in one block. And we said, no, we don't want it. We have this isometry. We want only two houses by one, by one company. And these two houses have to be from different architects and not one big garage. We had to build smaller ones. But this is now the point which Peter Hall says, this is the way to go. And Rieselfeld, you can transfer into reality wherever you are, in UK, in US, everywhere. But the point now is the Vauban area, which I showed afterwards, 
has only has no car parking places. Normally, you have you have Trump. around. Uh, 550 to 650 cars per 1,000 inhabitants, normally in Europe. In Freiburg, we have 420 in the total. And in Vauban area, we have 80 okay, for, yeah. for, for 1,000. So it's not a question of, well, it's always the point. We once said, I need flats, I need units. I need units outside. I, I want, I have to create, Mayor said, we need we need living places living places who is going to build then the investor is coming and said well, i do that but these are my these are my um, uh, my father my my uh, this this i want to have and then i'm going to build and this is the wrong way the city should say in this way you have to do that it's a long way to convince them but if you are going to do that you are going to build those cities which are needed after the pandemic and after also after the point of after the point of uh, uh, after the point of global warming and now i want to say something uh, not against but what what is the pandemic now what will happen now you will see the bigger the the elephants are the more the crisis will come this home office home office work we reduce the office building, not in London, not in London perhaps, but in other areas extremely. When you have insurances, you don't need all the spaces in, in a block, in a tower or something like that. But you, well, there was a discussion here this morning, just two hours before we talked, I had talked to the, to the um, uh, journal with the, with the uh, journalist in uh, Frankfurt, a very famous uh, um, um, uh, paper. And he said, well, then we are going to transfer these, these units, which are offices, into living spaces. And I told him, well, are you sure you can do that? Have you ever calculated the point to make it? And this is also the point you have to bring when you build houses, you have to build inside, inside a sort of infrastructure, which in this place costs a little bit more but afterwards it keeps much more longer. For example, in Rieselfeld, when these investors came, they said two houses, but every house had, an, had to build by another architect. The, okay. cal the calculating was the wall between these two houses, only one wall. And I said, no, a house can, can die after 60 years, 50 years, 70 years. When you, when you are going, oh la la, when you are going, when you are going to close it, to, 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 uh, to bring it down, when you are going to bring it down, you have to make it in this way that the other house is not falling down. So every unit has to fulfill yeah. its own. So, and this is a long way to do it. And I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm a little bit, not a little bit, but I'm, I'm really astonished that this discussion must be taken in your country. And not the developers are going to sell you what, what they want to have. No, the cities with their organizations have to tell in this way we want it. And this, is, this will be the point. Thanks, Wolf. That, that, that's a good point to end, which is, is leadership, planning and placemaking leadership. Um, that's been a fantastic presentation. I, I know Stephen's going to remind us that um, we will have all of these presentations saved. I just want to thank all our speakers. Tom for the importance of setting out the economy, um, everything from thinking about the key turning points in the economy of, of regional cities um, and the idea of the Champions League economy with the second division city and community. Fantastic presentation by Charlotte on, on, on the input and thinking regarding the national plan for Ireland and the role of design in, in contributing to long-term recovery by building on the assets. Um, the, the important contribution of Judith um, thinking about the positive elements of smaller market towns and cities and this idea of low energy res resilience and bounce back and some excellent examples from um, the, uh, the work that she's been doing around Milton Keynes, but also the role of the um, work in Sunderland and the Housing Expo. David's contribution from uh, Scotland's oldest and newest city 
um, and, and the, the importance of the mechanisms of partnership and funding, which he seemed to think were quite, um, uh, I think it's four years you identified, David, to put together a 20 year horizon plan. They're quite complex, but those are important. And you also identified as just as others uh, like Tom did, the importance of key stages and turning points, uh, including things like winning sporting trophies, as well as having city status. We heard then from Duncan, who picked up a whole range of points about delivery, which I think for many of us will be very important practical ones. Um, but one of the key ones he finished in on was get in early and control the land. Then you have the leverage to have an impact, um, whether it's to do with land pooling or doing deals and agreements, but, but trying within that to capture uplift in value and share it around. And Wolf's important presentation Everything from that um, incremental recovery, the importance of plots, but the big issue that, that Wolf started with was it's climate change. That's the big issue we've got to grapple with and we've got to be proactive and interventionist, as he said at the end, and influence people, influence developers, influence investors, and I think, as he said, um, influence young people, bring them to, to see what can be done. There's been some discussion of the pandemic, and I think the big message I'd I think we can take away is that it's a chance to pause, to rethink places, and that includes particularly smaller, livable towns and cities that maybe have a more adaptable scale and more adaptable and influential relationships because we've got more face-to-face -face networks. So I thought there was some fantastic learning from um, today in particular, um, and carrying a lot of over from yesterday too. I'm going to hand back to our chairman, and Andrew Burrell, uh, who's going to just say the last few words. But thanks again to all our speakers and particularly to Wolf.